My name is Jaap Snebu and I'm the proud owner of Snebu and Sons. Since 1913, we produce the highest quality stainless steel garnet tools. But the series is not about our garnet tools, it's about the people who are actually use them. Enjoy some of the finest gardens and their creators. Welcome to Snebu Gardens of the World. And this episode is all about control and letting go. When we meet Piet Oudolf, the world famous Dutch garden designer in his private garden in Hummelo, the Netherlands. Gardening is about control and I think uh, the fact that we try to find a balance between letting go and, and keeping control is that we developed ourselves in gardening into an other direction. So we like the wildness of nature and we, uh, we try to mimic that in a way in the garden that it feels like wild but it is not and that is why we try to find this sort of borderline of control and no control. Of course, we, we got away from the more decorative way of gardening, which was totally control. It was deadheading, uh, cutting back, planting your bulbs, and so uh, preparing for spring. Uh, that was more dogmatic. Of course, we try to get the right plants, the plants that don't go wild, so plants that behave very well, uh, and we put them in a, in a situation or in combination with other plants that it looks wild and it is not. But also we allow plants to, to see a little bit around, so uh, spontaneous, so the spontaneity is also very important. That, but we take action when we think it is too much. Uh, when plants have overseeded, then we take most of the seedlings out, we let a few go. Uh, plants that grow uh, a little bit into other plants, we don't mind as long as they don't take over. So there's all kind of met methods we use to uh, create that feeling of wildness and at the same time control it by looking at it and take action uh, when necessary. We're very, very strict about what, uh, how far we go. Uh, it is, uh, we call it editing. Uh, it's like uh, writing and sometimes you cut out a word. So if it's too much, you just take it out. You don't care, uh, worry about the plant, you worry about the, the picture. have a beautiful plant but it's um, it's everywhere and it creates this sort of busyness in the garden that you don't want. Also you, you need to have enough plants of plant variety to create a seasonal interest so from the beginning of the year till till winter so if you use a smaller number of plants you repeat it in different sizes maybe in groups or in single plants to keep the eye going flowing so that it looks a sort of united uh, like a landscape if you look into the landscape it's not always so com complicated concerning the number of plants it's more uh, the repetition the patterns and that is why you use repetition especially on a larger scale, not, not in a smaller garden. You know, repetition is only necessary when you work on a larger scale. I said it before, you don't need a million plants to make a good garden. <laughs> 